Hey guys, Lotus Tech, you're back at the game with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to run 3DS games on your Nintendo Switch. So in this guide, we're going to be using RetroArch. And if you watched the last video, you saw that we set it up RetroArch and everything to get it up to this point. So what we're going to do over here is we're going to go and load core and we're going to go Nintendo 3DS Citra. So once we're over here, I'm just going to restart this. So let me restart it. Then once we're here, we're gonna go back to virtual arc and then we're gonna go on to load content. So load content and then we're gonna go on to start directory. And we're gonna go on to 3DS games and we're gonna open up Mario Bros. So we're just gonna launch this and we're gonna wait for it to load. So with the Citro 3DS Retro Arc, you can play your 3D computer. What you wanna do over here is there's a few things you wanna do. So to get this media fire link what you want to do is you want to join the discord server and you want to go under switch links over here so as you can see it says citra liberto Linux. so we're going to just download this right here after you press this it should download a whole file so we're going to press this and save and then over here we're going to see download and it's going to be right here now for your nintendo switch what you want to do is you want to go onto the sd card so let's look for nintendo switch right here so, here it is, and we're gonna go on the SD card. So first, what you wanna do is you wanna make a file of your 3DS games right here. So I see it says 3DS file, and I can't show you where to get these games, but you know, there's some ways to find them. From here, you, what you wanna do is you wanna search retro. So we're gonna go on the search bar, and we're gonna type retro arc. Once over here, it's gonna load a folder called retro arc right here. So I'm gonna press this, and then we're gonna go into the course folder right here. Once we're in the course folder right here, we're just gonna drag and drop this. And if you have it, we're just gonna press copy and replace. And that's pretty much all you do to get the game up and running. So from here, we're gonna go onto our computer and I'm gonna show you what to do from there. Now that we're back on our Nintendo Switch, what you wanna do is you wanna open up a game and you wanna hold the R button. So once that's done, we're gonna go onto RetroArch right here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go onto Load Core and then we're gonna go on to install or restore core. We're gonna go into parent directory. Then we're gonna go into cores, and then you're gonna see the core that we have right here. So we're gonna press this, and it should say selected cores install. Then we're gonna go and load content for our game, and we're just gonna go in the file we want. And then from here, you can just select the game and play whatever you want. So that's pretty much it for this guide. If you do have any questions or you need any help with anything, join the Discord server in the description below from the link tree, and then hit the Discord icon. But yeah, if this video helped you, I hope you can like and subscribe, and yeah, goodbye.